Hey everybody, Joe Peretta here, his and hers health and fitness, and welcome to today's workout. Today we're going to be doing a high intensity interval workout I call TriFit, where we perform 12 exercises. Each exercise is performed by 30 seconds of work, followed by 15 seconds of rest. We do that for three total rotations for a great full body half hour hit workout. Now don't forget to incorporate a warm up in the beginning, three to four minutes to warm up your full body and do your cool down stretching at the end. But we're just gonna focus on the exercises today. So on a scale from one to 10, with 10 being the most intense, again, we wanna pick exercises that are an eight, nine, and 10 to get our heart rates going for those full 30 seconds. So first exercise is one I call juggler jacks. It's a jumping jack, but you're gonna be doing something with your hands and your feet. You're gonna bring up your knees. So it's knee tap, knee tap, foot tap, foot tap. So knee, knee, foot, foot, knee, knee, foot, foot. March it out. If you gotta modify it out, that's gonna get, really get your heart rate going and that's a great first exercise for this workout. Second exercise is an atomic push-up. We're gonna be down on the mat. We're gonna be performing a regular push-up with a knee tuck. So I'm gonna show you the regular way and then how to modify it based on your fitness level. Remember with your push-ups, keep your hands underneath your shoulders. The further you go up, the more you put your body at risk for injury. So, atomic push-up. Again, I'm gonna walk myself out into a push-up position. I'm gonna breathe in on my way down, exhale, and then I'm gonna jump the knee tuck into my chest. Push-up. Now I can modify this with a step-step. And again, if you've gotta modify on your knees, I can do my push-up, come back down, push up on my knees, come back down. Stay down for round three. We're gonna focus on a core exercise. We're gonna do a crunch with a twist twist. So, small of your back is in contact with the mat. My feet are flat, hands are up here. I'm doing my basic crunch. Breathe out, breathe in, opposite elbow knee, opposite elbow knee. Again, crunch up, come down, twist. Crunch, twist. You should be able to get a nice steady pace going with that type of exercise. Again, don't pull on your neck. And don't bring your whole body up. You wanna keep that small of your back on the, uh, on, the, on the portion of the mat, excuse me. All right, back on our feet, round four. We wanna do something for our legs. So, we've got a couple different options we could do here. Again, depending on your fitness level. You wanna pick something that you could do for those full 30 seconds. So, we're gonna go with our basic squat jump. So, we have, Hands up, squat jumps, where we're squatting down. Exhale and jump. You can keep your arms straight out in front and do your squat jumps and drop them like a skier. Or if you're just squatting and coming up off your heels. Again, if you have any lower back or knee issues, modify with that one. Okay, round five. Again, something for the upper body. We're gonna be doing a pike push-up and a tap. So you're gonna see a lot of different kinds of push-ups today but that's okay. We're gonna be doing different variations of them. And remember, if you gotta do them on a, on a wall or on a mat, do what you can do at your fitness level and keep progressing as you get better. Proper form is more important. So, pike push-up. The butt, inverted V. I'm trying to say like this, okay? So, I'm gonna do my regular push-up first. Pike my butt up and reach. Opposite hand to foot. Push-up, reach. Now, if you've noticed, I'm walking my hands a little bit. Some people have to do that, some people don't. So, you could do your push-up, pike and reach, pike and reach, or again, walk it, walk it. So, try those out. If push-ups are a challenge for you, let's focus more on getting better with our push-ups. Again, we're keeping a wide grip on that one. All right, we're gonna stay down again on the mat. Do something again for our core and cardio. We're gonna be doing heel taps. Again, in the same position that we just were with our hands up. My head's elevated off the mat, but I'm reaching for my sneaker. Back and forth, back and forth. You should feel this in your love handles, the side of your, your obliques here. And again, we're just going nice steady pace, back and forth. If you wanna keep your hands down like this, you do that as well too. That's round six. All right, round seven. 
we're gonna incorporate a little bit of lower body and core on this one. We're doing our sumo squat, so we're gonna be working more inner, and we're gonna do our elbow to our knee. So I'm squatting down, I'm dropping, dropping, come back up. Squat, dip, dip, come back up. Nice steady pace. Again, you're gonna feel that. It's gonna be a really good burn there for you for that. All right, we are on uh, round eight, I believe. And we're gonna go back to something for upper body. We're gonna be doing our burpee. Full burpee with the push up and the jump. So again, you're going down like a squat, touching the mat, jump to your plank, push up. Another way that people do it is on the fall. They just bring their chest all the way down to the mat. Explode it up. So there's a couple different ways that you could do that exercise as well. All right, again, I want to incorporate lower body and the core together. So we're going to do our squat and twist. So get in your prisoner squat, get a nice wide stance. You're going to squat and twist, squat and twist. Opposite elbow to knee. Get the heart rate going, nice steady tempo with that one. We're gonna stay up, we're gonna stay in that position since we already were. Now, if you have a thin yoga mat, you might wanna use a towel or pat it up because we're gonna be going down on our knees on this exercise. So basically, what you're doing is you're dropping down to your knees and you're standing back up. Knee, knee, up, up, switch it around. So again, watch those knees on this one. Make sure you have some cushion to protect yourself with that exercise. All right, let's finish this tri-fit workout out as best as we can. Let's go back down on the mats, on our stomachs. We're gonna be doing swimmers, very similar to Superman, but what we're doing is opposite leg and arm. So we're in that Superman position, but opposite arm and leg. So. Right, left, right, left. And what you want to try to do is keep your body off the mat at all times. But if that hurts your lower back, keep your toes anchored. And again, I did the same side on that one. Opposite on the leg, opposite on the leg. So, see, even I make mistakes. You just gotta catch yourself and keep working on this. All right, let's do two more exercises and let's try to really get our heart rates going. So, let's stand back up. For this one and I want to incorporate some type of lateral movement so we have skater jumps which are really good but I want to incorporate a high knee with this so imagine your mat kind of like a typewriter if anyone remembers what a typewriter is so you're gonna do eight high knees and travel to the other side of your mat and then skater jump skater jump eight high knees travel down to the other end skater jump skater jump let me show you so here we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I jump, jump. Again, go to the other side. I jump, jump. So the main thing is, however many high knees it takes you to get to the other side of your mat, you're doing your high knees, traveling, and then you're doing two big skater jumps so that you always will end up on a different side of the mat. That should get your heart rate gets really jacked up, you guys. And then last one, we're gonna be doing Another variation of a skater suicide, but it's opposite hand to foot. Get in a stance, bring your hand down like this, and we're gonna shuffle our feet and switch our arms. So for speed, it's like this. Modify step and touch. Step and touch. And again, that should really get your heart rate going. If your lower back bothers you, you can do it standing and rotate your body. Rotate your arms across your body. So Give this workout a try. It doesn't, again, take any kind of equipment. You're gonna do that for 12 rounds. Take a 30 to 45 second break between rotations. Repeat that three times and you've got a good full body workout. If there's anything else I can help you with, you guys, feel free to comment below. You could also email me. Remember, it's joe at hisandhershealthfitness.com. Have a great workout, everybody.